Hello, wonderful people and places. My name is Seder Bloom. This is my silly YouTube channel, and today we're back at the Let's Play. I just recorded this all in one go, so the locked room may have to do with your brother. I'm just gonna go to lift off and landing, and then I will come back. Some days will have passed for me, but for you guys, it'll be as though like nothing has changed. Uh, and then we'll ramble about multiverse and like pop culture magic, and we'll rant about everything. Um. Because, you know, I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> Lift off and landing. Flying is just like walking. Only it's a bit more dangerous. I, uh... What's with her? Oh, I thought those were hands. I thought her hands were scarred for a second. Look into flying class. Today, a melting broom. Take it to your broom. So, I know what you're thinking. Well, if you can apply virtually everything to muggle magic or real world magic, um, because I'm a blood wizard, I am allowed to call myself. Uh, you're probably, you're probably wondering, uh, how do I tie this, um, this down to all, to real world equivalents? And I will show you right after I get this line work done. Woo! Um, what you want to do, and this is a secret of the universe, so don't go telling people you learned it from my Let's Plays. Um... That sounded like Deadpool. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to find your broom and put it through a ritual of what I would call Otos. You want to magnify it with the charms of the fabrics of this world. The world you and I are in, not the video game. Um, listen up, everyone. I'm going to demonstrate proper broom instruction. And um, then, once you charm it with Otos, this is just one way to do it, and this is all hypotheses because I don't fly on a broom. Um, you can then charm it to go up. Now, some people would like to do it a different way. Some people would probably, uh, make it so that the broom is tied to gravitation or that the broom just floats up. But you want a spell that would allow it to carry weight, and you'd want a spell that allows it to move within the world on its own. Now, if you enchant a broom to move, the broom will technically be alive. That's what nobody will tell you about that, but most people aren't going to think that through. Um, so yeah, you want an Oto spell on the broom. It will not move like it does in Harry Potter. Brooms don't actually work that way, um, but it will move. So let's hypothetically say you believe Harry Potter is real, like my future date mate. Let's say you, you believe Harry Potter is real. Um, I'm going to explain to you several important things, I guess. Um, then they already have access to Otos-esque magic. They already, they already, um, they already have, um, their whole world is built upon a different magic system than the one we have presently. Let's see if you've been paying attention. Who can answer this question? The Quidditch player looks at the golden snitch. Is the seeker. You can tell this game was made for Harry Potter fans and I am not one of them. Um, so yeah, they already have access. They already have a system of magic they implement and use that you can tap into as a muggle. Even a squib, you just have to know what you're doing. Out of energy. So yeah, you need a system in place. That's about it. That's all you need to know. I have kind of maxed out my empathy stat. I was like, well, empathy's good. I should experience empathy. And so yeah, you can even pull your broom up like this. You just need a system of magic that allows for a change in the physical world, which most people do not have. Uh, these things exist. You can literally change the weather. You can see the future. You can physically make a spirit appear as though man or you would, pulling a Sally from no longer from being human on that. But most 
uh, most human witches will never understand how to do that. Also, humans aren't witches. If you look at the etymology of the world, outside of even Harry Potter, humans and witches are two very different things. So the fact that they chose to call themselves as a community witches, always I found a little insulting. You can call yourself a ceremonial magician. You can call yourself an occultist. But the second you start calling yourself a witch, that's when I'm like, do you know... Do you know what a witch even is supposed to be in folklore? It's not just a bitch who does magic. Um, but I digress. Um, oh, look at me. I'm flying on a broom. Oh, flying on a broom in our little Zoom. Learned liftoff and landing. I want to check the house cup. We are slowly behind, which is a shame, because before I checked, we were tied with Gryffindor. Collect. Let's see, clickety-click. Okay. Side quests, forest, meet with Hagrid. Let's do that. I've been dying to play this game for literal ages now. I didn't know there was a forest. Let's let's meet with Hagrid there then. Also got Izzy that I'm drinking, but you can't see because I'm a little VTube and avatar. I love this area. Oh my goog. Thanks for meeting me all the way out here, and Miss. No problem, Hagrid. I'm always willing to help a friend. Plus, you sounded upset and you asked me to come. I reckon I'm not. Professor Snape's out of the fair lesson. Uh, I'm sure we'll find a way to get more. That's the problem he already has. I overheard him saying he's going to harvest the wings of fairies in my garden. That's a shame. I can't imagine fairies without their wings. I agree. Even the fairies' wings don't hurt them but does make him awfully annoyed. It just seems like a rotten thing to do in the vein of the creatures. Plus, I've been growing rather fond of little creatures and would hate. So you want to keep Snape from finding the fairies? I'm going to do all these side quests, and if you don't like side quests in games, you should be watching my Let's Play channel, because that's like a staple of mine. I suspect they're laying eggs outside. <sighs> in real life, it does fucking mutilate a fae to remove their wings. I would know. I've worked with the fae. And I have a fairy form, and I mutilated off my own wings. It was kind of painful, and it was bloody and gross. And this is why I hate Test Hollow, because he's the reason that happened to me. Will you help me, Edomith? Of course, Hagrid. Trans of us, I'm sure we can come up with a plan to relocate. Start. Cut there. Um, so yeah, um, the Fae aren't anything like what Dust Hollow, the idiot TikTok star, claims they are. Um, he doesn't know Shaq shit about anything, and he also looks down on Otherkin. Otherkin, I do also look down on, but not to the degree he does. Ooh. Well, I thought we could try to scare the fairies out. It's not a bad idea if we scare them, there's no telling where they'll go off. If we even go further ground, the Princess Snape will find them. Alright, how about we just capture them and release them elsewhere? I already tried, but tricky little creatures. The five pumpkins I smashed trying to do it a test. Then instead of removing the fairies, why don't we ask Snape directly if he can get the fairies somewhere else? I already tried, but no luck. Snape said he didn't want the challenge to challenge some bugs. Well, so much for any good ideas. If we could only figure out the best way to convince the fairies. I said how good we'll test our different methods on a fairy to detect the way to dissuade them. That sounds like a good plan. Ones in my garden are hiding from me. Don't worry, Hagrid. I'll find the magical creatures. I'll go to lure the care of magical creatures. We need a fairy to practice on Griffin. Well, 
What's over here? Grasslands. There's a tiny niffler. I wish I could talk to animals in this game. Like I can talk to them now. Let's do the corridor, then we'll duel, and then we'll cut back after a few days of my time. Or maybe just a day. So that you all can, um see that I um yeah let's find food for the nibbler I've seen some creature supplies here if I search around I'll be able to find some creatures quickly quick search for creature food So yeah, um, I, I kind of lost my train of thought with that whole I hate dust hollow thing. I know I'm in the astral, and he's a little bit of a bitch. Um, it doesn't even know what real emo is if you looked him in the face. And one day he'll see these let's plays and be very hurt, but I'm not afraid to say it. You shouldn't be afraid to tell people what you really think of them. I don't care if he himself was my best friend or watching this, I really do not value his insight as a magician it's very clear that he's in a part of the druid revival movement which i want already look kind of look down on because i've time traveled and i have alts i fucking know what the real druids were and then i look at these revival movements and it's clear they just scraped together with the best they could what the druids are supposed to be rather than what druids actually were and are and i get that i just said i time traveled here but i literally do all kinds of weird tricky magic most humans can only dream of getting their hands on and you can astral project into the fairy realm you you can get a fairy form you can marry and bet a fae and the fact that dust hollow doesn't think you could do these things proves that he's read a few fairy tales it doesn't matter if they were in welch or the ancient version he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about and i'm not afraid to say it um he thinks magic is an invisible push and he thinks they're gonna eat you he doesn't understand people you could have generally good working relationships with the fae in fact most folklorists don't fucking know that because they're folklorist dust you're a fucking folklorist you don't know jack shit about anything you talk about yes you have issues with the yellow court but like you don't know courts you don't know the different courts you don't know the difference between a flower and a fucking petal seed and like that makes me disrespect you as someone who claims to be the authority on fairies oh you're a druid i've met the druids and they're nothing like what you claim your modern movement is like you little bitch posing emo motherfucker i don't like dust hollow says the man playing harry potter also so like what is other kin because like i actually did magical examinations on other kin and i was talking to coetting or i was eavesdropping on coetting and um because i know ea coetting through the astral just the same way i know dust he probably doesn't recognize me with my cute little vtubing avatar um this is light too. anyways uh so basically um ea coetting was off going off on other kin do not ask do, do not Bobby! Bobby! I want to bet the pooch! No, I can't bet the pooch. Um, but basically, um, Ia Koenig was going off about what other kin means. And from what I learned from him, because for once I actually learned something from that egotistical narcissist. Um, essentially, I can't believe I'm allowed in the dark forest. I don't think that should be a thing. What is all this burning shit? Okay. Um, essentially, what I learned is that let's say you're a monkey kin. Your soul is not literally that of a fucking monkey's, okay? You will learn from the monkey through your kin type. Um, and I'll get into how this affects like being kin with Harry Potter characters in a second. Um, when you are kin with something, it is a lesson of spiritual form where the thing you are kin of teaches you to be like it so you can learn from it uh what you need to do through identity so a kin shift is this spiritual process and this is why i don't like other kin call it being a coping mechanism because you're fucking with spiritual shit um 
you will learn through the eyes of whatever your kin is. So then I hear you thinking, what about people who kin songs? What about people who kin concepts like America the country? Not like personifications. Like, I've met people who fucking kin America. I am one of them. What if you, like, kin um, something weird like Junko and Oshima or Harry Potter or trying to think of my friends kin types or dave strider from homestuck you are not literally dave strider reincarnated it may come across that way to you in some rare instances it is that way for you but most of the time that's not gonna be what it is um it's 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 really just not if you kin something then it is that thing through your eyes teaching you what it's like um, to be it through your mind. It doesn't matter how metaphorical or strange these concepts are to you. That is the truth behind other kin. That is the fucking reality of the situation. And if you don't like that, I'm, I'm very anti-kin. I, I have this old friend group and it's yandere freak if you know her she recently killed a kid bitch she goes by he with most people but for some reason she's a she with me even though i hate her guts um think of it this way yandere freak um yandere freak kills one but she's also like heavily heavily kin nothing wrong with that but she kins Junko and Oshima. Um, so the thing about that is that as a result of this other kin situation, she now knows what it's like to be Junko through the eyes of Junko. She will identify as Junko, but she is not the literal re fucking carnation of Junko. Most of the time, that's not how this shit works. Okay? So, um, she might think that's how it works. That's not how it f fucking works. So, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm just customizing my avatar right now. Um. Um, so yeah, uh, you will learn from Junko's perspective how to do this, that, and the other. Um, that's basically what it does. Uh, um, Oh, hold on. I totally meant... <sighs> to change my appearance there. Flip. I liked that haircut. Okay, let me get out of the dormitory. <laughs> um, you will learn... Sorry, I keep rambling about this. You will learn from the eyes of whatever your kin type is how to be like your kin type. How to be of your kin type. Um, so that's basically it. Um, there we go. I gave myself a makeover. And through your kin type, you will identify, you will live the life, you will become of the same steps as the character you fucking kin, or as whatever your fucking other kin shit really is. Um, you can be the literal reincarnation of Rainbow Dash, but if Rainbow Dash already exists and you didn't do some kind of spell to write you into my little pony with rainbow hair, you're not fucking Rainbow Dash. Um, so you can learn from Rainbow Dash, but if you ever like do pop culture magic and run into Rainbow Dash, she will not see you as the real Rainbow Dash. Why the fuck would she? And so the reason I, I'm kind of anti-kin, but not really anti-kin is because these ex-friends fucking kin me to get a rise out of me. 
and they kind of abused these spiritual concepts like candy. They even called themselves very important people in Islam to fuck with a Muslim friend of theirs to get a rise out of everyone. Snow, Yandere Freak is not a fucking good person. Neither are her friend group. She called Morgan a kike. She called me a kike because I was raised Jewish. She she calls me an it. Like, she's a fucking bitch and I hope she dies. But that being said, Junko, she's not literally the fucking reincarnation of Junko. She just has learned from Junko the identity of her and the feelings of her, which is what a kinship is, in order to learn the lessons she needs to learn in this life through that process. And that's what other kin are. Um, so fiction can are a bag of worms. You can have literally anyone and be anything. And I don't know, sometimes this overlaps with dissociative identity disorder, but you should never use other kin as a coping mechanism because it is an actual fucking religious piece of shit. And if you're just going to claim shit like that, um, oh, I love her hair. She's pretty. Um, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so that's the thing. Um, I will, I will not say people who kin me are fucking valid. I have a lot of OCs. Like, if you kin Adam with Froster, my character in this let's play, I'd be like, okay, that's literally a version of me. That's really fucking weird. Um, however, I wouldn't stop you, but if you kin, like, the, the let's player gaming tale i'd be really freaked out i'd be like why the fuck do you identify as me if it's a fictional universe that's fine but this is the reason i do not like snow and her friend group um so you know um that's a thing and i hate dust because he thinks he's this authority on fairies and he's really fucking not the dust swallow hand dust hollow fans have entered the chat um so yeah i'm gonna pause the let's play here for a quick second and um that'll be this let's play i love you guys trans resources in the description and i'll be back in like a half second session of say goodbye or maybe i'll end the let's play here who knows uh and we'll see and we're back that was like a second for you for me that took five whole days uh, so yeah, I'm sorry for ranting about people I don't like. Um, I'm bitter and I'm salty. What the flip? Earn all kinds of rewards through the magical or whatever, whatever, whatever. Huh. Collect prize. Okay. Huh. Let's try this. I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm just spending all my money. And I'm out of coins. That was quick. Uh, how do I exit? Uh, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Check out this special, check out the store for a special offer. No, thank you. Let's just get what I need to get going down here. Let's go to the corridor and then we're ending the let's play here. And then I can continue to play from then on out. I plan to play Disney's Mirror soon. Where do you think you're going? No, uh, no one's special, I suppose. You're Jacob Frost's brother, aren't you? Yes. Your brother was one of the nastiest rule breakers. I was sad to see him expelled. You were. I was. I missed the chance to hang him from the ceiling. Now the second chance with you. I'm not like my brother, Mr. Piddles. You're a liar, you are, Mr. Norris. Saw two Slytherins. I'm guessing the Slytherin was with you. Um, but anyway. <coughs> ah, I sneeze. I don't have enough shit for that. I told you I'm not a rule breaker like my brother, Mr. Filch. Fume snores. We'll see about that. I do not like that man. Let's go to the corridor. Here we are, corridor. I sneezed because I am baby. 
uh, I'm at the terrifying that I ever imagined and imagined terrifying things. You weren't lying when you said there would be danger. Is everyone ready? I'm ready to run with the first sign of danger. I spent all night rounding selections of the castle to plan Ada myth I'm ready as I'll ever be. Wish I have Filch and Snape might return. Ben will keep watch no matter. Rion will give sleeping trap to Mr. Norris and I'll unlock the door. I've read a lot of books but none of them explain how to make a potion. I mixed it with milk, just poured in the ground. Stanley snack goes my neck. I imagined myself doing all sorts of things at Hogwarts that I'd be giving a cat a sleeping drought. Kitty! For your plan, Edemeth, you have a real gift for Saw. We should really consider burglary. Let's hurry and get inside that door. Quick at the lock before we finish. I don't know if you can hear it, but like the cat is purring. Adamahora. Flipendo. Oh, that's Marula, I bet you five dollars. Flipendo. Quirin. Flipendo. Only an idiot like you would advise a spanning mud bladder. She's a racist. I was wondering how to unlock the door to do away for you. A curse of vaults could be inside and no one is going to reach the vaults before me. She's our own special little Malfoy. Have I mentioned how much I make Marula? Are you alright, Ben? I'm turning that down. I can't stand that cat's purring. Do you expect the pan to save me? Where are we going to go? Stop her. Can Amarula find the curse vaults before me? And we don't even know what's inside. What if it's an all-powerful artifact? Can you imagine an all-powerful Marula? I'm right behind you, Melon. I'm afraid of what might be inside in this corridor. Let's see what's inside the room. Let's go inside the room. Clickety-click. 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 Marula. What happened? This is too good. The ice struck me to the floor and keeps spreading around me. It's the same ice for my vision. Yeah, that happened a few let's plays ago. He had a vision of all this shit, but I did not get it saved, and I'm really sorry about that. It's spreading over the door, too. Three of you. The door is frozen shut. Aid him with help. Hold on. Hit ice harder. Cast flipendo. I imagine this would be harder to do on a phone screen. Flipendo. You okay, Raven? He's frozen. His butt is frozen. Don't worry about me. We have to help. Thank you, Edemus. I was afraid to freeze. Nobody cares about you. Save me. Everyone stand back. This is going to hurt Marula. What are you talking about? What are you... Prepare to cast. Prepare to cast. For the... Uh, flip. I wish there was more options in the game, but I get that this is like a phone game and not everything is going to have that. Oh, well, hurts, doesn't it? You have to get out of the room. Cast the knockback jinx on the door. Sorry, my neck tick is going off. Filipendo. Oh. 
The door was still stuck. What do we do, Adamus? Yes, it's fast. It's hopeless. Ben, we need your help. I know you know. Sorry, Adamus, I'm too scared. Worthless mudblood. Don't listen to her, Ben. I know you can do this. You just have to for your friends. Come on, you're a Gryffindor. Filipendo. A Gryffindor hanging out with a bunch of Slytherins. That's strange. You did it, Ben. I did it. Let's get out of here. Do you think the ice will keep seeping through? Wait, look at this. What is it? It's some sort of code. Someone left a message. I wish I had something to write it down. I already have it memorized. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we did it. I should have known better than to follow you, idiots. I'll find the faults by myself. That was a curse fault, was it? Oh, flip. Go away. Was it? It doesn't seem likely, but the ice itself did appear to be cursed protecting a vault or something. Deciphering the runes will give us a cause. Either way, it seems like all vision or some sort of prophecy proceeding. It could eventually erase Hogwarts. We can try it out later. Let's get you back to Slytherin before we get caught by Filch or Snape. There's only one place you're going. You're headed to Professor Snape. The rules you had violated must not go unaddressed. Come to the Great Hall immediately. That's my Snape impression. It is a bad Snape impression, but it is my Snape impression. I love meal with a friend. That's my favorite thing to do in this game. That's really lame. Like, I could like anything in this game, but that's my favorite. You made a mess of my classroom. You adored a student on school ground. You brewed a stripping drought without permission. You used ink past who was only protecting the fools from the cursed ice. You corrupted multiple students by convincing them adventure and break school rules and nearly got a lot of you killed. I'd do it all again. Oh shit. I know, I was trying to find what happened. You're bound to his pitiful state for just 60 points from Slytherin. 60 house points? Consider yourself fortunate. If it were up to me, I would snap and go to Azkaban. Fortunately, it is not my decision. I don't understand. As the Dumbledore has requested a private audience, Mr. Frost will not get it to my side. Alright, and that's the end of today's Let's Play. Tomorrow we'll finish up the chapter, or whenever I next get around to this. I love you guys. I'll see you. Ta-da! Goodbye.